How's it going guys? So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this animation. If you want the project file for it, it is available for $1. Everybody on Patreon, you'll be getting that for free on tier one through three. If you've never heard of the Patreon, you get two exclusive tutorials a month. These two animations you're seeing right now I taught in April, and you can grab that on the Patreon right now. You also get project files from tutorials and monthly procedural materials created by Syncretic 3D. Uh, last month, he created these really amazing crystals and created the procedural materials. For that, you can check that out along with everything else linked in my description. Now let's get into the tutorial. All right, we're back. So I'm gonna show you how to make this really cool metaball animation. So we're gonna go ahead and jump straight into just a blank document here. Now, we're gonna be making this in Eevee. Feel free to do it in cycles. It's much, I, I find it much more satisfying um, in the way it looks in Eevee. So we're gonna stay in Eevee, turn on ambient occlusion, bloom, screen space reflections, and motion blur for this, and we are good to go. So here's how we're gonna do it. First off, we're gonna hit Shift A, and I'm gonna to introduce to you possibly a new um, model. If you've never played with metaballs, I'm just gonna show it to you really quick. We're gonna go down to metaballs instead of mesh. Metaball, it's a different type of mesh in a way. And uh, we're just gonna click ball. And so what's really cool about these is if I hit shift D, these things kind of morph into each other. And then I can click on the metaball settings and right here on the uh, preview resolution, you can make that higher. And then I can then I can take one of these guys clicking on the rings and hit shift D and make it bigger and maybe hit G over here. Um, and you can do some really fun stuff with this. So just wanted to do this particular part to introduce to you metaballs if you've never used them before. So now we're gonna go ahead and take a couple and animate them all together. And the way we're gonna do that is with a isosphere. So we have this guy here. What we're gonna do is I'm just gonna click and uh, well first off shift A and we're gonna go ahead and get our meta ball. I'm gonna hit G and bring him over here. So let's click on this guy and I'm just gonna go right up here and click on the viewport shading, the wireframe so we can see inside of it because we're gonna now engage a particle system. So right over here, click on particle system, particle system, stumbling over my words here. I'm gonna click the plus icon and then click hair. So what we're gonna do is on source, go from faces to volume, and that's gonna make all the particles show up here in the middle. Now we're gonna click render on path, we're gonna select object, and then right here on instance object, select that meta ball. So we need to bring our scale way down and then right here, we need to go ahead and bring up the resolution of our meta balls. So right here on resolution preview, bring your um, resolution down to 0 0.05 for now. And now you're gonna see all these particles. This is way too many. My particular animation, if we click back on the isosphere, has about 15. So right here on number, I'm gonna click 15. And now we're gonna have these guys. So we can go back down here and play with the uh, scale and the scale randomness to have some variation with our particles. Now, now we have something really cool. Um, what we need to do now is kind of make these guys animate around. So to do that, we're gonna go back to the modifiers, add modifier, and we're gonna get a displace, and we're gonna move the displace above the particle system. So now the particle system will be affected by our displacement. I'm going to click new, click on this little icon to engage the textures. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and pick clouds, bring uh, depth to zero, bring our scale up. Um, and what we're gonna do is make a looping animation. So we wanna be able to kind of loop the displacement so that our objects in the middle are kind of dancing around together in a looping fashion. Uh, you might hear my cat in the background running around. Um, so I'm gonna hit Shift A, we're gonna get an object in order to loop the displacement, which is going to be a uh, empty plane axis. Click on the isosphere here again, and then go to the modifiers. Right here on coordinates, we're gonna go from local to object. In the object, click that, um, select that empty, and if we select the empty here and hit R twice, you can now rotate that guy around, and you can see how our meta balls are dancing around in the uh, fashion that we want. So we'll go back here to the, just the regular shading, and obviously we still have this guy. So I'm gonna do a kind of a cheeky, hacky, not so cool way of making this guy disappear, which is adding a wireframe modifier and bringing that thickness down to zero. And if I click on that empty again, hit R twice, Look at that. We have our meta balls going around in a really cool way. So we'll, what we're gonna do is click on the empty, this little orange icon, and I'm gonna click on the rotation here. So I'm gonna rotate it on the X axis. So here I'm gonna go and uh, hit the back arrow 
and we're going to go back, hit the back arrow again to go to frame zero. I'm going to give myself 240 frames. Um, I think that's how many I want to do here. Maybe less. Maybe uh, actually we'll do 120. One, two, zero. 120 frames. Give us a five second animation. Make sure you are in frame zero. And then in your edit preferences, make sure in the animation tab, your default interpolation is set to linear. That'll give you a consistent speed. So now I'm going to click um, keyframe, go to the very end, type in 360 degrees, add that. And now we have a looping meta ball animation, which is really cool. Now, if that's too fast or too slow for you, you could take the empty and scale it up and slow it down, or you can scale it down and speed it up. So you do have quite a bit of control over the way these meta balls animate, which is really, really cool. Now let's go ahead and shade this. So I'm going to click on the meta ball, go here to the shading tab. I'm going to hit the uh, period key, which actually brings it to that one. We want to go to this one here. So I'm going to click on the render button. I'm going to click new. And then here on the principled, I'm going to um, bring this over. I'm going to make it zero roughness, bring my base color down to a nice black. And then I'm going to get a mix shader here. Plug that there, get it emission, EM emission. And then right here on the color, I'm just going to pick a nice light purple, plug that into the shader, bring this over here. So now we're going to tell these guys how to sort of translate together. I'm going to hit shift a search, get a color ramp and plug that there. And then we're going to get a wave texture W A V E, wave texture. I'm in all caps, um, plug that color there. And on bands, we're going to go actually, you no, know, on sign, we're going to go to, uh, I believe saw, Yep, so now we're going to get this really cool kind of shading here with um, saw. So I'm going to hit the period key on the uh, empty. So this is the center. So now if we press play, we're getting some pretty cool animations here already. Let's go ahead and play with this a little bit. So I'm going to go here on the color ramp from linear to uh, B spline and then bring this something like that and then bring up the strength considerably, something like this. And then uh, on the actual uh, wave, I'm maybe bring up the scale a little bit. So now we're getting something super, super weird and super, super cool. Now you'll notice how it's kind of low poly here. Uh, you can see those jagged edges now that we have that wave texture engaged. I'll show you how to deal with that in a little bit. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and click the render button. See, where do I want to position my camera? Um, I really like, I'm a big fan of this angle here. So I'm going to hit shift a, get my camera. Control Alt Zero, snap it to view, and then I'm gonna hit G to sort of move it around. And then this guy might be in the way, so I'll just hit G and move him away. And so here in the world settings, I'm gonna bring it down to uh, black. And this is our animation so far. It's already looking awesome. Now I mentioned a minute ago how it's kind of low poly. So what we're going to do is um, we can see this. Let's go down. Make sure you click on the meta ball in your outliner. So right here on render, you can see how it's 0.02. I think you need to go to 0.1, and then I'm just going to click the render button and see how that looks. Okay, hold on, let's see. Uh, I got that wrong. So here we go. So it's 0. Point, we need to do 0 0.01, and then if we hit the render button, it's going to take a second. There we go. So 0 0.01 gives you a perfect edge. Now, it's going to take a minute to render. Um, it's very high poly, so you're going to have to sort of get around that with doing that. Uh, but it's going to take a minute, even though it's EV, it is going to render pretty fast, but you need to wait for that topology to load. So just keep that in mind. It is going to take a little bit longer to render, but at the end of the day, you're going to get something really cool and really crazy like this. So uh, yeah, it's pretty much as simple as that. I'll show you how to um, export this guy. So we'll click on the little printer icon. If you want to do a PNG sequence, which I would highly recommend in this case, because you're liable for some uh, some crashes, it's going to be a PNG sequence. Now, if you want Blender to just compile an MP4 video for you, don't have to deal with a PNG sequence. Um, first off, of course, save. Click this wherever you want to save it. Go from PNG to FFmpeg video encoding. Go from this to MP4, medium quality to perceptually lossless. Save your file and then render, render animation. And then when you're done, you're going to get your super cool, super awesome meta ball looping animation. And uh, there you go. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Hope you learned some stuff and I'll see you in the next tutorial.